All right, I want to give everybody uh, kind of a preview of what's going to be coming, which is our first major assignment. Um, if we go under modules over here, uh, we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see your major assignments are listed. So let's click on this first one, Ethical Debate on VoiceThread. And you can see, uh, you can read through the uh, assignment, which is that we're going to actually debate a topic, but we're not going to do it in a conventional sense. We're going to use a platform that combines a presentation and either audio or video recording. Um, and you're basically going to record your debate argument over each slide um, as you go through uh, what your argument is. So these are the instructions. I want you to read them and make sure that you understand exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, and then you can see uh, how the, uh, the different points are put together and uh, exactly what your responsibility is going to be. Um, and then uh, I want you to go over here to people. And you can see your debate teams have already been set up. So if you click here, these are the different debate topics. And if you just uh, do this, you can see which group you're part of. So for example, Lydia, Shanti, and Jared are going to argue is the mainstream press out to get Donald Trump. And on the other side, Alexandra, Jake, and Seth are going to argue that uh, yes, they are, where these guys are going to say no, they're not. So once we uh, do the research, which is what this assignment is going to be for this week, you're going to be doing your preliminary research and getting your argument together. You're actually going to, uh, if we go back to the assignment, you'll notice there's some tools available for you. And among those tools is something called VoiceThread. So we're going to click here on New VoiceThread. And here's an explanation for how you create a voice thread. Um, you're going to need to make an account. So when you first log in, you're going to sign in with your uh, with a user with a, your name and then an email and then a password. You'll get a confirmation email. Um, and then once you do, you'll be able to create. So if you look up here in the upper left, it says create, and that's what I'm going to click on. Now you're going to come up with a screen that looks something like this where it says add media and this is where you're going to upload a presentation. So uh, I would create it in Google Slides or PowerPoint or Keynote, whatever works for you, um, and save it as a PDF. And then you're going to upload a file. So I have a little sample file here. Uh, this is just a presentation I've given in the past. Now as it's uploading, I'm going to call this our COM3404 sample file. And you notice you can put your information in here. This is a test for our debate assignment. And while the file's uploading in the scenes uh, back here, you can look at the different playback options. Uh, if you want to automatically advance your slides or um, allow uh, different factors, you can figure this all out. You can put that in. And then you'll notice this is saying processing. So once this is done processing, it's actually uh, going to show up here. There's going to be slides, but the information I've already put in is right here. And so what's going to happen is uh, you're going to sign in with an email and a password that everyone in the team knows. Each person is going to upload their own set of slides. And so once the slides are uploaded for the one person, they can record the argument that they have over these slides. And then the next person can go in here and go to Add Media. And they'll be able to click on this, and they'll be able to add their own media. So you can see these slides are starting to come up right now. And as they come up, they're just going to all uh, form up in a line right here, just like that. So I'm going to go right here to Home. And you can see this is what my file looks like. Now I'm just going to click on this. And now it comes up as a presentation. Over here in the bottom right, there's an arrow. And I can advance through my debate just like this. These are all the different slides. But I want to go back to the beginning so that you can see how you would start to record your video or audio. Right down here in the middle, there's a plus. It says comment. So if you click on that, uh, the first option is ABC, which is to type. Then you could actually uh, respond by phone, or you could do an audio file with this microphone. You can do a video file uh, with this little camera, or you can upload your own file. But let's just do an audio file. So when I click on the microphone and I click Allow, it counts down for me. And now I can start recording uh, what I want to say. There's a little pencil down here, uh, which you can click on, and then you'd be able to circle or write or make little figures if you want to. And when I want to advance to the next slide, all I need to do is go to the bottom right, and there's an arrow. I click that, and it advances to the next slide. So I can change the color of my pencil, and now I can do this. I can make a little smiley face here if I want to. I go over to the right, I advance the slide again, 
I say, look at this picture. Here's an arrow for you to look at. I advance it again. I want to make sure that you're paying attention to step three here. And now when I'm done, I just click stop recording. And if I hit save, if I'm happy with this recording, it's going to save the audio that I just created. Over here on the left, you can see these are my comments. So I'm going to click on that. And so you'll notice that the audio recording continues. Uh, you don't have to do anything in order to make that happen. It goes along and it immediately matches up with the slide. Now when you're ready for um, someone else to add their slides, all you need to do is go up here to the name and click on it. And then you can go to edit. And you'll remember we talked about this plus. When I just hit this plus, then I go to my computer and I can upload another file. Um, and all I have to do is click on that and it will upload here and then you do exactly the same process. So every time you do a recording, you just hit that uh, little comment plus and then you'll be able to add that on there. When everybody's all done and recorded and you've gone through everything, you just click um, over here to um, share right here in the upper left. And then you're going to find there is a link to your voice thread. You're going to upload that link to Canvas, and that's going to be how you turn in your assignment. So we're going to be working on this uh, in class. You're going to work on the initial brainstorming this week, and then uh, we'll have more time in class to work on this, and this assignment will be due at the end of September.